Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we are standing in front of the Cookie Empire, which is going to be where we're going to change the food game in Minecraft forever. And it is going to be amazing. But as you can see behind me, our bakers have turned into zombies. And that is not good for business. They're going to be selling our customers rotten cookies. It's going to be a huge problem. So let's cure them up and we'll get their ears back on them. Save me. I love the cookies. Well, we wait for our elven bakers to cure. I've got a bit of a prank to pull on Gree. And as you know, he is trying to compete with our mega diamond pillar. <gasps> His has gotten so much big. Is that bigger than mine? Oh my gosh. Okay. Ours is just a little bit bigger. He must have really taken it personally that we said our pillar was bigger than his. Well, hello there. Pearlescent Moon has joined the chat. We've got another competitor in the race to build height with the diamond pillars. And you know what? The more, the merrier. Now it's prank time. So with Mumbo gone, I want to play a little prank on Grian by making him think somebody gave the diamond pillar to Mumbo <laughs> as a welcome back gift. After all, it's in his backyard. <laughs> it's even got a mustache on it. Oh, this is going to be great. So Grian will see this long before Mumbo does. So no hard feelings on Mumbo's part. Plus, we'll give Mumbo a wonderful welcome back gift when he does return. But seeing Grian's reaction to this is going to be priceless. He's going to be feverishly trying to shave that mustache when he sees this. Oh, it is going to be glorious. Yo, how are you back to being zombies? I have been sleeping through the night. B-dubs would be proud of me at the speed of my sleep. All right. Well, hearing you guys off again. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You better do it this time, okay, you two? Wow. We had an action-packed intro there, and I didn't get to welcome you properly to the video. So, welcome, everyone, and I hope you are all doing absolutely wonderful today. And we're going to have some super fun today in Hermit Crap. But before that, I want to show you. I've decorated our bed here a little Oh, you're so sleepy when I see that bed. But we've got our egg from the Easter egg hunt there. And we've got the rarest block in Minecraft now hanging from the ceiling. Our stone diamond block. I really love our little bedroom here between the trophy, our egg, and of course the rarest block in Minecraft. Now, I think it is super cozy and has a lot of fun personality to it. And uh, yeah, 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 the chest monster's back. But don't you worry. I'm going to make the greatest storage system you have ever seen when I build my mega base. Also, have you guessed what it is yet? Am I even surprised? No. How are you guys not being properly cured? Very happy that I built this potion room now. And here's me being super diligent by sleeping every night away. Are we going to cooperate this time? Because I'm going to run out of golden apples at this point. Please don't ask me how they're holding my sword and my shovel and all my bits and bobs are scattered about everywhere. This is going to be for science. Is this a one shot? One kill. Wow, clearly that was brutal. That science experiment gives me something of an idea for the future with zombies and swords. But anyway, I'm going to sit here until they are cured. Oh, welcome to the land of the living. Did you just swap the sword for the axe? Huh, I didn't know there was a hierarchy of tools. All right, you two, I'm gonna need you to behave. Now that our bakers are back in the world of the living, it is time to work on the cookie shop and I am super excited about this. So we're going to build the shop where the cookies are going to be sold. And over here, we are going to build the cookie factory. And this is gonna be the most organic and beautiful factory you've ever seen. Cookies growing from trees. It is gonna be absolutely amazing. As for the exterior, well, there was a lot of really interesting discussion in the comments of the last video about should we keep the dead tree? Should we leafify the dead tree? And I'm still conflicted as is the comments on what to do with it, but I'm going to keep it for now. and I'm going to keep thinking about what we could potentially do with it. He's back. Mumbo is back. Not mumbo jumbo, just casual mumbo. 
I had started setting him up with a present here. It's not a lot, but we might add some more to it later, but let's go give him his gift. I'm so excited. Mumbo, mumbo, mumbo jumbo. Look at him go, CEO. Always be CEO in my heart. You, I turned around, you were like five centimeters behind my back. What was going on? I'm excited to see you, Mumbo. That's fair enough. Are you... Oh, have you noticed something lighting? different about me? Something pointy? Yeah, have you always been so well endowed in like the ear department? It's been a new achievement recently. I've grown into my ears. They're, they kind of suit you quite a lot, though. Oh, thank you. They, would they... you mind? Would you mind maybe throwing them on yourself? You want to... <laughs> I want to see you with the mod. I want to see you with the mod. This will be great. This will be great. This, this seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know that this is already a bad idea. I can already, I can already feel that this is not gonna be a good oh look. My for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I look like I hide under beds for fun. Like I look like I literally am a, a, a quite, quite ghoulish. Have quite you nightmarish. been vacationing in Transylvania? <laughs> You look like I a am vampire. quite vampirish. <laughs> I, uh, oh, who slept? Oh, I'm on the. It's burning. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> Why that does is, it make you yeah. look like a vampire? I, I don't understand that. I mean, here's the problem. I kind of already. I'm quite close to being a vampire. A I? pale, wearing a suit. Yep, you check yep. the boxes. Yep, those are the two things. Those are the two requirements. That is all. <laughs> I can't even see my own legs, let alone my own reflection. So definitely a vampire. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't know why I never put it two and two together. We cannot see our feet. Maybe we should periodically check in with one another to make sure each other have feet. Like, we'll just turn up. No other words need to be spoken. We just, I just, we just confirm. It's like, yep, you still have feet. You confirm that I still have feet, and then we can go about our days normally. I have a present for you, Scar. What on earth? No, you're. These are just things to help you get started. First of all, everybody likes concrete, and they never can make it. So there's some supplies. Whoa, <laughs> Scar! Stop! Stop! This is ridiculous. This is not, Scar. This is. This is 100% more items than I have. Have you not seen what my resources are currently like? This is... Hold on, what do you, what do you, what do you have in your hand right there? Is that a gigapie? You know, Mumbo. I think your ears are playing tricks on you, mate. Oh no, I saw it. I smelled it from 100 yards. You know, they pretend that they got some kind of grandma back there cooking those pies. It's all an industrial mm. operation. It's all about business, oh, not natural. I'll tell you what's natural my cookie establishment that's opening very soon right. Mumbo. just so you know scar all for the cookies i'm i'm a big fan and i am i do like grandmas as well i am i am a fan of industrial things as well this is the problem you you, you got me excited actually when you said they were creating industrial i was like oh <laughs> you used the wrong word there buddy you used the wrong word hold on i need to do a spin yep. Welcome to the industrial headquarters of the Cookie Empire. Oh, that has me excited. Are there grandmas? There's grandmas everywhere. I'm a grandma. Industrial. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Industrial grandmas. Yeah, this come on in. I'm a grandma. Grandma Scar here, everybody. Welcome to the industrial nice. future headquarters of the most mm -hmm. industrial capitalistic thing you've ever seen in all of Minecraft. In this area, Mumbo, in this area, mm -hmm. you will see machines, redstones, mm -hmm. capacitors, comparators, mm -hmm. pistons, piping, hoppers. Wow. You've seen pictures of hoppers. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be industrial accidents every other day. That is the sort of words that I like to hear. <laughs> Just serious pain caused by industrial accidents. You know, I if that sign that says it's been X amount of days since we had an accident, doesn't have a big old fat zero on it. I don't want to be at your business. Simple as that. It has to be zero. <laughs> there has to be an accident every single day at the places that I shop at. Otherwise, I'm not shopping there. The employees lose a couple ears every day. It's no big deal. This <laughs> nice. is full Fantastic. on industrial operation. There is not a natural product in this entire building. You know, Thank like you. 20 plus gas came out of this hole while you were gone. 20? Yeah. And how did how did they come out of the hole? I've only just constructed the hole. Oh, Mumbo, Mumbo. Wait, no, there's another hole then. Is there another hole here? <laughs> I think... Is there wait, a secret is that what, other hole somewhere? Wait, because... Is that what... Hang on, because I saw this. Yeah, what <laughs> was this hole? Because oh, there's yeah, another yeah, yeah, hole yeah, yeah. No, this is, this is another hole. <laughs> What's going on? Why? Why do I have two holes? Okay. Like why? I got I got a double hole base. This is very strange. I mean, I did notice it while I was digging out this one. This is so what I thought it was. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, that could have saved you some digging, I suppose. But no, <laughs> yeah, this is a. This is a. Yeah, this is a. Twenty plus or more gas came out of this. Oh! Why lighter? Why lighter? Why lighter? 
Well, 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 so he moves the mustache to my pile of diamonds and apparently told Mumbo these were his. Oh, 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 I've got some ideas. We're going to take this competition up a few notches. But before we get to that, was that a zombie? Oh, gosh, did you hear it? Rewind. Yeah, it was a zombie. <laughs> uh, hello there. I see you've turned into a zombie again. How? You are completely bot- Oh no, we lost the other one! How do we lose one now? Oh man! Oh, anyway guys, these things have been really, really troublesome today, but it is now time to start working on the interior for our cookie empire. And this is gonna be wild. I spent two days just brainstorming ideas on how to make a cool looking shop in a factory that really feels alive no no leave me alone child leave me alone no you're probably who killed my baker yes you oh that's it goodbye cruel world children oh my god what in the world cubs capital invest today okay all right i have stuff to do i will investigate what that oh no we've got another one <laughs> All right, we're going to investigate that after we finish getting our resources. I am now slightly concerned what I have caused here on the server by building the original diamond pillar. Is that creeper listening to some sick beats? <laughs> He's bobbing his head to the music. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, creeper toes are heading for us. Oh no. <laughs> this is what we call a, uh, a slow death. That's right. A very, very slow death. <laughs> oh man, what is gonna happen when we get to the bottom? My life is uh, currently flashing before my eyes. Oh, he's gonna blow! No! <laughs> Are you serious? There's another one. Oh, my day is not going well. All of this for some cobblestone so I could build some pistons. You know my deaths would have been completely avoidable if that was a recipe in the game. But seriously, why is it not? Welcome back and we are just starting on the interior for our elven cookie shop. And I am super excited for this because I will be able to finally reveal our magical cookies. We are going to need a beautiful elven shop to sell those cookies. So I think the shop is going to go here, a lobby to intrigue customers, and an overly industrialized factory to satisfy our first customer, Mumbo of the Jumbo. Actually, no, it's just casual Mumbo now. So let's actually add our first interior by spinning it into reality. And I think we've got a really really beautiful elven architecture here with a smattering of organics and i think that's what really highlights a good organic elven build this really cool architecture along with a lot of plant life so we've got our trees here a super cool floor with some moss growing in it and of course the very kind of regal honestly crown molding up there and if you look very close into those chandeliers you'll notice a very interesting little secret hidden within them. And until you find those, let's do the elven twirl to create ourselves a brand new shop here, looking super fancy with our entranceway, with a little lantern hanging down, stepping inside, lots of beautiful crown molding, barrels on the flanks of the walls where we're going to store our cookies. In the center here, we have our display case. Of course, any good bakery has a display case for the products. And we have our villager back here and see he can't get out. I'm beta testing it. <laughs> Let's knock our cash register off. Put that back. So we'll have that all displayed out with the different items that we're selling. We've got a beautiful floor with inlaid rock. Now, what's weird about this entrance here is that it reminds me of the haunted mansion stretching room entrance at Disneyland. <laughs> I know, right? It is a little bit strange, but with that, let's Elven Twirl, a brand new factory that Mumbo would be proud of. Now, question to you, do you Elven Twirl in Minecraft? I want to see you Elven Twirl in Minecraft. Send me some examples on how you do it in Minecraft and what you create. Well, hello there. So this is the Cookie Empire's factory and I'm absolutely loving it. Now the goal with this factory and hopefully you can see it for yourself. 
This thing was supposed to convey energy and movement and energy and movement in Minecraft is so incredibly difficult to achieve with everything being fairly static. So with this build, we've got the cow. We had the pipe up above with the fluids. We have the minecart zipping about on the track above. You got a little bit of flames going up in there as it sends off whatever it is cooking away. We have the little saw there. We have the furnace cooking the cookies together and of course with the fire moving around and the drips from the pipe above and of course this little fella so i hope that this thing kind of inspires you for your own factories or in minecraft in general to add things that bring energy and movement to the game and as i said the game can be very static but there are things in the game to enhance it and to add that beautiful kinetic energy to make things come to life. Also for you keen-eyed viewers out there, you might have noticed there are some secrets here on the screen that if you look very closely, you will get a sneak preview of. This very well might be my favorite shop we've ever built in Hermitcraft. From the design to the products. That's right. It's time to reveal the cookies once and for all. I've been holding out on you for a very long time with these. This is our first cookie, the Elven cookie. This is not your average cookie. Not only is it beautiful in design, and I feel like it's a better Minecraft cookie made by Epic Blue Mouse, which I had this vision for these cookies and she knocked it out of the park with her artistic skill. But uh, look at that thing. Look, it's super fancy. But as I said, this is not your average cookie. Anyway, moving on to our next ones here, you will find the Elven Kiss. I mean, look at how cool that one is. Now this once again is not what you think. It is a cookie, but with special surprises. And finally, we have the Elven Surprise, and that is another cookie with a very fun surprise. So we have practical cookies that will give you nutrition that you never dreamed of, from a cookie. And these are our fun novelty cookies. So let's see if we can give one of these a try. Can you guess what this cookie will do to you? Hmm? A little surprise and a little fun with our cookies. I'll leave you guessing what that one does. Hunger bars depleted, feeling famished, looking for something a little different when it comes to Minecraft foods? Well, the cookie empire has your back. Look at that nutrition fill up those bars. Only found at the Cookie Empire. Now we've got to get this poor fella behind the cash register. All right, my dude, time to ride the Elven Coaster to your new job. I kind of want to ride it. No, you got to go all the way in. I understand that you're not only going to be the baker here, you're also the cashier. <laughs> He's now pulling double duty since his buddy, well, sadly died. Please don't have suffocated. Oh, look at his little ears back there behind the cash register. That is epic. So something that I'd also like to do here with armor stands is put little cookies inside this glass, which I think would really sell the idea that this is a glass display case. So we definitely need to do that. Oh, Jevin. Cleaned up the landscaping out front and added a new set of mushrooms. So these are our brown mushrooms that complement our red mushrooms. So I think that looks super nice. And I'll continue to work on the landscaping, especially around back. But if we go inside with our beautiful cookie chandeliers, <laughs> I love those things. Anyway, we've got our shop and inside here we are fully stacked and the cost is two diamonds for 64. Now over here, these are our fun novelty ones, a diamond for 64. And these are our super novelty ones, two cookies for a diamond. Those ones are ours. <laughs> Why is, is this peering over the side like... Is it, is it break time? I, I can't seem to find the exit. Silly, silly goose. There is no exit. All right. I have been purposely neglecting looking over at all of these diamond pillars that have popped up. You can see that Azuma has one over there behind our ear. And Doc has taken the lead. That is way up here. What level are we at? We are at 221. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's way taller than I thought. Cub, you are a madman. Look at this. This is solid diamond blocks, not ore. And it looks like Grian 
has suppressed ours too. We are going to need to do some mining, but it's time to relocate the mustache. There we are. <laughs> mustache relocated. Speaking of Doc, he is online. Let's go see if we can find him and shower him in some cookies. Haha, <laughs> target acquired. Well, hello there, Doc. What's up? <laughs> I brought you samples. They're all over your base now, just floating. Beautiful, beautiful cookies everywhere. I saw, I saw. Question is, are they made by a grandma? Yes, yes, actually. A mechanical wow. grandma of industrial wonder. You, sir, have a good eye for a good cookie and knowing that there is grandma behind it. Mumbo also inspected my grandma's. All right, then. Oh, I, I like him. I see you have something else in your hand over there. May I inspect it? Pies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me inspect <laughs> that real quick. Here, here. Come, come to the edge. Come to the edge. Those cookies are all you'll ever need, Doc. <laughs> Wait! The cookie empire is now open, Doc! Enjoy! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't want to create any enemies. We're just letting Doc know that uh, there's a better source of food on Hermitcraft now. Minecraft in general now. We made the greatest Minecraft food of all time. That's right. I am the cookie monster. Hold on. I'm actually really curious to see what would happen if you eat an elven kiss in the air. We got him again, boys. Target acquired. Be the first Doc to try the elven kiss oh my god it looks amazing give it a, give it a chew doc give it a chew it's early in the morning good for your teeth oh, oh. there he goes <laughs> wait wait how did what? you end up on the horse <laughs> i have no idea it teleported me on my horse <laughs> oh my gosh wow what did just happen i have no you idea that? how you ended up on the horse that is amazing just a little bit of I magic, do Doc. Don't re don't forget, Doc. The Cookie Empire shop is open, and there is not just these two cookies, but there's more. Goodbye. Oh my gosh! How did he end up on the horse? That was amazing. We did it. We have a second customer. That was real magic sold from Doc. Oh, I've had a blast today. I hope you've had as much fun as I had building out the shop, creating the cookies together. And this is what makes me love Minecraft so much, even more so with the cookies nowadays and doing these fun textures. Oh, it just reinvigorates my love for Minecraft even more. But there is a competition on the server. I've got to hit the mine. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch videos. And if you believe you deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. Until next time, we'll see you later. Don't subscribe. You may just become scarred for life.